from the new movie, Den of Thieves, and Saints running back, Alvin Kamara. It's all this week here on Undisputed. Pro Football Talk is reporting some of the Steelers' limited partners want Mike Tomlin to be fired. Tomlin faced criticism after Sunday's loss to the Jaguars when Pittsburgh was stopped on two short fourth down plays. Then with over two minutes left in the fourth quarter, down by seven, Tomlin chose to go for an onside kick, which failed. The Steelers have only three playoff games, have only won three, off, three playoff games in the last seven seasons. I'm joined by Rob Parker. Welcome, Rob. What's happening? And happy morning. birthday, Joy. You look radiant. Thanks. Skill. I thought you was a school teacher. I taught the yesterday. The kids get school, <laughs> not the teacher. How you up here with us? I mean, what class is at 7.47 a.m.? He has one class a week. Right. I taught yesterday. It's 10 to 1. And I taught yesterday. He got online. That's online college. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> no online. It's in the strip. I bet USC you it's, ain't online. It's in the strip mall. Mm. Stop. Stop. Rob, should Tomlin be on the hot seat? Absolutely should be on the hot seat with that coaching performance that he put on on Sunday, which just was a bad job. It, it just was. And, and not only the stuff just on the field, when you got the fourth and ones, which were questionable, onside kick, questionable, but the preparation leading into the game. Were they ready, Shannon, when they came out there? They weren't ready. They were down 21 Well, they talked about being ready. And the other stuff was, the pregame hype where they're talking about the Patriots. Like, it was up and down the locker room and him. Didn't he do a TV interview where he said it was going to come down to mm -hmm. the Patriots and the Steelers? That shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. Now, I can understand why some people are, after a while, 11 years is a long time, and I know he had success. He won a Super Bowl, went to two. Yep. But after a while, people start to say, is, is this enough? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the flip side of this is, if you base it on how they do coaches in the NFL, then he shouldn't be going anywhere. Right. Dan Quinn ain't going nowhere in Atlanta, right? right? Choked in the Super Bowl, lost last week to the Eagles, and then I could go on and on. Marvin Lewis is still employed. <laughs> Hugh Jackson is still employed. <laughs> uh, Vance Joseph is still employed. I could just go on and on and on about guys who are still employed. So do I think they should look at Tomlin and think about it seriously and wonder or not, if there's a disconnect also with Ben Roethlisberger, which I think there is. There is. And so you need to look at it and say, can this team still win and maybe we need a new voice? Look at it. But do I think he's going anywhere? No, I don't. The man won 13 games this season. The last time a coach won 13 games and got fired was Marty Schottenheimer. Went 14 and 2. Was that yep. the year they lost to the Jets? That was the year they lost to the Patriots. Patriots, oh, that. In the divisional game. And yep. Patriots were dancing, and, and LaDainian Thompson lost his mind after the game. Mm. He's won 10 wins each of the last four seasons. And I get it. In Pittsburgh, you about, it's about Lombardis. They make that abundantly clear. Mike Tomlin understands what he signed up for when he took on the head coaching job of this organization. But I don't, I mean, 116 and 60? I mean, who, who, do you, who are you going to get? to replace him. Now, granted, he has to, they have to do a better job of getting identifying defensive talent in the draft and bringing it in and, and making sure they're ready to play because that's where the death, that's the problem, Skip. You score 42 points and get, almost six, home. and get almost 600 yards, you're supposed to win. Not only are you supposed to win, you're supposed to dominate because mm -hmm. if you score 42 points and get almost 600 yards, more times than not, you're winning. Because we saw the last time somebody got that many yards was uh, uh, Kansas City opening day against against New England. Yep. And they dominated for what was it, 42 28, 40, mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. And they had 538. Being them had more yards than that, they scored more points, the same amount of points. But they lose. So clearly on that side of the football, Mike Tomlin cut his teeth in this league as a defensive coordinator. They need to be better on that side of the football. But for me, this is ridiculous that we even have this conversation that Mike Tomlin should be on the hot seat after uh, after. Now, granted, hey, I didn't like the way the team, they, they did too much talking for my taste, because clearly, especially on that side of the ball. Le'Veon, you want to talk. Antonio Brown, you want to talk. Juju, I got no problem. But when you're on the defensive side of football, come on, bro. Mm. I'm talking about y'all banging on the Jacksonville joke. Y'all going to know my name. Y'all going to know my name. Are oh, you Destiny Child say your name? I mean, what's going on with that, Joy? Destiny okay. Child, very nice. Mm. I'm with Rob on this one, for once. <laughs> Are you sick? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right.
I'm not sure Mike Tomlin's all right. I and again, my problem is, and I've disqualified myself. I just like him. I, I've always said, if, if I could play in the NFL, I'd want to play for that guy. I like the way he handles his post game press conference. He's so commanding and forthright and quotable, and just lays it on the line. Mm -hmm. This is what we didn't do. This is what we got to do, and I respect all that. But all the signs are bad, and. They're going from bad to worse because the quarterback appears to me to have declared war on the head coach because he's not pulling any punches. But then he'll he will pull this punch. It's classic LeBron esque passive aggressive because Big Ben says publicly, uh, "I don't want anybody fired. I, I want to preserve continuity here." But can you believe this? He won't even let me run a quarterback sneak. He won't let me run a quarterback draw on fourth and two. And don't you, ask me. Don't ask me. And why. Skip, if you had a good relationship yeah. with the coach, you wouldn't do that. You you, oh, you wouldn't do it. And I think you would be more apt to to get out of that play call and do what you know is right to sure. do. And I yeah. don't think he wants to do and, that. And he did it after the Pittsburgh fiasco. I'm sorry, the no, Patriot fiasco at the end of the Pittsburgh game at Pittsburgh. It was just chaos where they didn't have a plan. They had a timeout to call a couple of plays, and they had no idea. And it's chaos in his ear from and through the headsets. And he wants to spike. No, they don't want to spike. So he does some awkward halfway spike. Cost the game. It, it throws an interception to Eli Rogers, who's the only one running a route. Everybody else is just standing. Right. That's chaos. Right. And ultimately, the buck has to stop on the head coach's desk on that one. Then you detailed all the disasters the other day that was a disastrous coaching job before the game and during the game by Mike Tomlin so if you're losing the quarterback and now there are reports that there are about 15 limited partners minority owners who own 70 percent of the team but they don't have final say that comes down to Art Rooney the second so the buck stops on his desk but they have a pipeline to him and, and by contract he has to actually he, he has to listen to them have a session with them and by all accounts, by many reports, they are going to strongly push for the removal of Mike Tomlin. Are they going to get their way? I have no idea. To, to, Joy grew up there. History would tell you that your conclusion is correct. They're just not going to do it because they don't do that. They don't do it. But They've only had two coaches in the last, yeah. three coaches in the last, what, 50 years? 50 years? Is but, that what it is? But sometimes you can't leap to the conclusion of, okay, Who's better than Mike Tomlin? Well, sometimes you just sort of burn out. You wear out your welcome, and as you said many times, sometimes the words start to ring hollow in the locker room. They just do, and, and it looks like you've let some of the players, starting with Antonio, run amok, and, and at some point you just have to change the scenery. You just have to let somebody come in with a fresh voice and start over. Are they still a good team? Yeah, they're, as Ben said, they're we're loaded. on the cusp. They're yeah. And Skip, yeah. there, there's been, there have been a lot of quarterbacks that has not that haven't had a great relationship with mm -hmm. the head coach, but they never threw him under the bus like Ben is mm -hmm. always willing to do. There have been a lot of uh, quarterbacks that didn't have a great working relationship with the offensive coordinator, but they don't throw the, throw him under the bus like Ben. Mm -hmm. And not only will he throw them under the bus, he'll then get in the bus and drive over them. He does back up over them. That, that's that's he, what I, in this case he's backing up over them. Yeah. He already did this after the and, New and, England. And don't forget, he also did some of this after the protests. And remember. Yeah. He yeah. went he back do, and went out publicly and said that he, he was against he what do, Tomlin he wanted do to a do. Lot, he do what we call in our community a lot of dry snitching. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll volunteer information right. that's right. unprompted. I Nobody agree. asked him, yep. did, 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 what, what, oh, I wanted, to fake, I wanted to spike it, but they told me no. Right. Nobody even asked you that. Mm -hmm. You volunteered that. He'll Everything volunteer. he says is, don't blame me. Exactly. It's, it's his, he did it. Yeah, I mean, it was his choice. And that's why I think ownership has to look at it to just say, now, are we, is Ben staying here, or we still believe we got a chance to win in the next two or three yeah. years with Ben? Yeah. And maybe this coach has just, it just doesn't work anymore, and maybe we need somebody else. Because I agree, you win 13 games, it's hard to just yeah. up and up say you got to get out and, right. and it's done. But, but where are you trying to go? Are you trying to win 13 games, or are you trying to win a Super Bowl? Okay, to Joy's point, that franchise doesn't deal in – getting to the playoffs. A playoff loss is okay. It's not okay. Not at home. They, they want to win Lombardi trophies because they have the most Lombardi trophies. So that's the mindset. That's the way you were raised in that tradition. So now 
you look at his playoff record, he's eight and seven. And if you take away the two Super Bowl runs, which came in 2008 and 2010, he's three and six in the postseason. Well, it's starting to add up to not good enough, even though your regular season is great. Hold up. Your first 20 years of her life, she didn't see no Super Bowl. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, you want them every other year. See, you starting to get like the Patriots. You know, the Patriots fans, you know. Oh, they the were Patriots. terrible. No, 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 they, no, they were not. The Patriots, yeah, they, they, they've been winning ever since the 1968, 1960. Oh, really? No, they have not. <laughs> if you let them tell it, oh, okay. they started playing football in 2001. I can't remember back that you can't far. Can't remember though. past that. But I remember old Gillette Stadium <laughs> that held 50,000 and only 20,000 people showed up. I remember, you those remember days going too? up there. I was there many times. Exactly. And the Patriots were terrible. So, Joy, you need to stop this. Now, I understand what the Steelers were in the 70s, but then they had a long, long skip. You remember from 79, the last Super Bowl win, all the way to 05. That doesn't mean they're going to lower their expectations. No, I'm not saying lower. Once the bar has been set, that's where it is. Oh, no. You lowered the expectation with 13-3? Now, you gave Coach, remember Coach Coward now, he got hired in 1992. He didn't win a Super Bowl until 2005. That's 13 years. Mike Tomlin won one what? This first, second year? Second year, I think it was. And gone again. I I, I just look, I, I get it. See what has happened? This is all the Patriots' fault. Because they have such success, they win every year, win Super Bowl, and this is what everybody thinks they should do. But the no. Steelers are consistent in the way that the Patriots have been consistent with Kraft, Brady, Belichick right. every single year. The Steelers are the same model. Would we just say they yeah. had three coaches in 50 years? Yeah. That's that, that's really the Steelers' model is to be consistent in that. It's, I'm not saying that they expect no, to but, win a Super Bowl every yes, year. But, but, but everybody after, looks at the Patriots the pattern, because they've been to seven straight AFC titles. They've got, here, they have a, a possibility of going to eight Super Bowls in 17 years. And so everybody thinks that's easy. That's an anomaly. Skip, you've covered this game. You've never ever, even the 49ers of the 80s, weren't this consistent. The Steelers of the 70s weren't this consistent. They go every almost seven straight years to the AFC final. But also there's a feeling of urgency because they have Le'Veon and Antonio Brown and Ben Roethlisberger, yeah. and Ben Roethlisberger is seeing the end of his career. Well, you should have went and gave Le'Veon that money earlier and not let him get to the end of the contract. So now you're giving a running back $12, $13 million in cap space. You need, a de you need another defensive end, mm -hmm. and you need another corner or safety that can make plays. That's what you need. See I'm sorry, Joy. What? You might go another 20 years. You'll be all right. <laughs> Rob, all right? thanks for joining us. <laughs> Is Paul Pierce a little too sensitive about his retirement night? We'll discuss that next. And I won't back down. Friday on FS1.